Hey guys, so we just recently did the brakes on my trailer, and you can see here this hub cap. It doesn't look like you're gonna get a screwdriver in there, but if you just keep tapping it around with a, with a little tiny hammer or mallet, you'll be able to eventually get that off. And then you're gonna have a cotter pin. You pull that cotter pin out, and then you pull this twist bolt off, and on the inside, there's gonna be a washer and a bearing. You'll have a back bearing on the hub, and you'll have a, a front bearing. This is the front bearing. Um, you can see these are locked up. I have to go from the back to uh, to adjust the brakes so that I can get the hub off. But here's the cotter pin that I pulled out. I'm just redoing this cotter pin. Then you got the twist bolt. And then you have the washer and the front bearing. And I'll show you in a different video how to pack those bearings with grease because it's messy. It's really messy. This is messy, but at least I could use one hand to hold the camera. I'm gonna need somebody to help me when I show you how to pack the grease. But this maintenance is extremely important when you're doing your, if you run trailers like me with pressure washing or landscaping. Um, so once, so now to get this hub off, we have to go from the back and we have to loosen up that that uh, brake. And the same if you're gonna adjust your brake. So here you can see at the bottom, if you want to tighten the brake, you start at the top with your screwdriver or brake tool and you pull downwards. On the sprocket if you want to loosen them you're going to stop start at the bottom and and pull upwards on the sprocket and this is really rusted you know i work with a lot of chemicals and stuff so i'm pulling downwards you can see it's really hard to twist but if you're tightening your brakes like i said if you're adjusting them to tighten them you want to just keep spinning your wheel with your brakes on as you're you know starting at the top and pulling downward with your screwdriver that is going to adjust your brakes for you and it's going to you know make it so they work because you want them to work so I just kept basically loosening the brake and checking the hub until I could get it to spin you can see it's free there so I pulled it off and not only were the brakes locked up but the magnet and I mean I haul a good bit of weight so I really need to take maintenance serious the magnet actually dug into the hub and just locked it up completely locked it up and you can see here, we just cut the lines off. I don't want that, I was told to, to not run the um, lines through the axle like the manufacturer had it, so I took that out. But you can see here, the magnet is pretty bad shape. The hub's in bad shape. It, it literally just cut into the hub. But to get that brake off, there's four bolts. They can be a pain. They might be rusted on there. You might have to use a little heat uh, or some you know, PB blaster or something. But once you get them off, it's pretty si simple after that. Putting them back on is simple. It's getting them off it's the hard part but you can see here look how bad that that rotor is it's like just completely cuffed in there so i had to go ahead and just get a whole new rotor but i got the wrong size wrong bolt pattern so of course i have to take it back now but you can see this is it with it off and while you're greasing up like put grease on all that stuff because it helps with you know rust and it helps with wear and tear but here's that line how the manufacturer put it in through there I hear that it likes to rub and cause cuts from vibration and stuff. So I put it I put it on top of the axle. Um, but I guess that's preference. I don't know. But I was told you can't screw this up. So you got two lines on the brake. It doesn't matter which one you hook them up to as long as you get them hooked up good. And I used wire nuts, but you can use, you know, I, I used wire nuts. I'll just, I'm not going to go off in a million different directions of how you can wire it together. But... I used wire nuts and taped it up real nicely, but um, yeah. If if you when you put the brake back on, you want to put new lock, wash or new washers and lock nuts on. You can see here, I just zip tied the new line that I told you I didn't want in the axle to the top of the axle. Hopefully, it won't catch on nothing up there or get frayed by road debris. But it's probably gonna vibrate down to the bottom. Um, and then here you can see I just had extra grease, so I'm putting it on there. Just never hurts. And I always like to put it on. I was I was instructed to always put it on uh, anything new threaded that you're putting in. And you can see here, this is the the brake line that I hooked up, the brake electrical line. And I just simply give myself a few strands of electrical tape up there. I put a little dollop of uh, dielectrical grease inside the wire nut, screw it on there, and then tape it the same direction. Easy peasy. So once you're done and you got the, the brake back on and 
you're going to want to take it. There's going to be a lip from wear and tear, especially if you run heavy stuff like me. Right here, I took this tool. You could use a grinder, I guess. You just got to be careful you don't nick it up too bad. Um, I just went around the outside with the tool. I, I, of course, put a rag in there so I didn't get no metal shavings in there. And then you just put it all back together and bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to rock and roll. Oh, adjust your brake.